Hey guys, I'm Bing here. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a, a, a topography for a specific site. And okay, so so this is a site. This is a, a six maps. So this is for New South Wales, uh, Australia. And you can uh, use you can change this to a map, and on which you can see all these contour lines. Okay, so okay, so now I'm going to just adjust these two. Um, so I think that should be okay. So we can still see these contour lines, but we can also see the roughly the the buildings. Okay, so now do a screenshot and make sure. You include this scale bar. Okay, so this will help us. So now save this file. So save this image and now go to Revit. So create a new uh, project and oh, sorry, go to side plan and drag this image into the side plan. Okay, so I'll roughly place it here. And then you can use this so uh, to scale this image so you can go scale or just type in R A and then pick the middle of this line and go to this end pick the middle of this line and type in 30000 and now this map should be uh, roughly to scale so for example I'll just do a detail on here to here 30 meter okay so now let's uh, model the topography so go to site top surface and we're going to place the 100 point first go type in 100 meter so place Okay, so the points are not visible. Um, so let's cancel this. It is because the view range of this view. So if you go to view range, then you will see this is cutting at 100 meter. Okay, so we need to change this to uh, roughly slightly higher than 100 meter. So I'll just type in 200 meter. And okay, so now let's go back to the site again um, let's place 100 meter points so I'll start from here so now you can see the point and also, also you can see this uh, topography start to showing but um, it's probably not good because I'll show you why when I start to place uh, more points so this is 100 and then I can't see this uh, this uh, control line, so it's better to change the change it to wireframe. Okay, so now you can see everything. So then my twenty. See the line here. Uh, just okay. place it here. So one fifty. One sixty. Oops. 
Sorry, my mouse is not working. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, so I'll stop here because I'll oh, maybe just uh, another one. So one, one seventy. Okay, finish. So now if I go to three D view, and this is the solid. Okay, so let me just close this ground floor and. Y, uh, WT, so now we can see both the side plan and as well as this uh, 3D view. So, okay, so this is the topography. So, um, so next, the next, uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to place this image onto this topography so we can roughly tell, okay, where the building is in this 3D view. Okay, so. Let's do it. So first, we need to um, oh, sorry. First, go to the side plan. We need to know what the size of this image is. So which is this? So let me just uh, do a screenshot. So okay. So now go to manage material, and we need to create a material. So let's call it a site map maybe so go to appearance click on this okay and then select this image and open so and then click on this again so we need to change this size to first go to scale uncheck the this uncheck this and then just type in the num the size of this so it'll be um the width will be 464160, 464160, and the height will be 225275, 225275. So click out down, apply, OK. Go to this topography, change the material, and sign map, and click OK. So now if I change this to realistic, so it starts to see the map. Okay. So now we need to uh, so just go to the top, and we will see this map is not on the correct uh, position. So we need to uh, adjust it. Okay. So first we need to rotate. So it looks like it's uh, rotated by 90 degrees. So go back to material. Go to appearance. Click on this map. Let's change this so far by ninety degree. Apply. Uh, is it right? Okay. No. Um. Actually, it looks like it's mirrored. So if we look at here, so this is on the top, which is correct. But this is uh, actually this side. So okay. So uh, looks like we need to mirror this image. Okay, I couldn't find any tool or any setting in here that uh, we can use to mirror it. So I think we need to do it um, outside of Revit. So um, let me let me see if I have anything. So I have Photoshop. So let's just do it in Photoshop. Um, I'm not very good <laughs> in Photoshop. Let's find this. Uh, how can we do it? Mirror? How do we do it? Where's the mirror? No, that's and the size yeah right I have no idea um,
image rotation. That's rotation. Flip. Okay, so here, flip canvas horizontal. Yay! Great. That's it. So let's just um, I'll just save it as a copy. Okay, so instead of just overwrite, I'll just copy it. Uh, mirror. Uh, mirror. Okay, so save. Okay. Okay, so now let's just uh, okay go back here. So um, we don't need to import it again, and we just uh, we we want to keep this one, but we want to change the image for this material. So go to manage material and go appearance. Click on this one. Oh, sorry. Click on this name. So the name, and then just go this and open. So now click uh, apply, and then that's it. So now the whole orientation is correct. It's not mirrored, and then we just need to rotate or not rotate. Sorry, uh, adjust the location. So you will see this in this green color. It's 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 on the left hand side of this contours so currently it's here so which means we need to move it so go to material again appearance click on this map image and then so let's try uh, this uh, position so I'm not sure which one so let's try X first ne let's try negative okay, so maybe negative 50 meter or oh, hell maybe we can do this we can just roughly measure. So, um, how do we do this? Let me think. Maybe we can do this. We in the side plan. I'm going to draw some model. I'll see if we can do some model line here. Uh, model line. So, roughly, I'll draw model line here to. Here. Okay, so now if I go to 3D view, if I change to wireframe, ah, it's here. Um, but it's under that side plan. Uh, that's okay. We can go. We can go to 3D view. So where's my level? Our oh, levels here. So maybe we can just increase. We can move these levels up because this model lines. It's drawn on the level. So if I move the level up slightly higher than the site, so the, the model line becomes visible in my 3D view. So okay. So now we can just oops, sorry. We can in 3D view we can somehow measure. Um, how do we measure? Maybe you can draw more the line again. Oh, yes, that's great. Okay, so it looks like is if I move this by to the left by sixty four meters, it should be on the right spot. So let's go to manage material appearance. Click on this, and then go to offset. Go offset negative sixty four. Um, two minus zero. Down, apply. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, not this one. This one. Type. Uh, I'll control X. Change it to zero. Ch uh, control V. Let's down, apply. Yes. So now this image, the material, uh, is uh, is correct. So if I go, let me just close this side plan now. Go to 3D. Oh, it's always 3D view. Sorry, rotate it, and we don't need these deep model lines anymore. So now this is a side plan. This is a topography with a material of that uh, the map from this uh, from this. So you can tell from this one. You can see. Okay, so there, this is uh, where the row is. This is all the residential building. So. And that's a uh, sorry. 
condition. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.